So the saga of Mark Robinson has just been, mm, ah, chef's kiss. That, that when CNN outed him with all of these accounts and connected the dots, this one username that he uses on porn sites and talking about how he loves transgender porn and I'm not shaming his, his kink or whatever, you do your thing, you're not hurting anybody, I don't care what you do. But it's a whole thing entirely when you bang on about in your, your righteous Pentecostal manner against the evils of uh, the perversions uh, and then you partake in that. It's hypocrisy. Gross. I mean, it's, it's, it's on par with Republicans. It's how they operate. It is their, their bread and butter. But uh, I'm not going to look the other way on it. And apparently, Mark Robinson is going to sue CNN for defamation or whatever. My prediction would be that case isn't going to continue after the election. After he loses his ass in this election, and there's some ass there to lose, fat guy, former fat guy, maybe still fat guy by some people's estimation. So, you know, I'm just criticizing my people. <laughs> But he's on the steps in this clip that I'm getting ready to play for you with his lawyer and a re reporter who needs a raise. Whoever this reporter is, whoever this journalist is, needs to be rewarded for doing their job with command. Because the, 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 the journal or the, 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 the lawyer is spinning the spin and talking about the lawsuit and accusing CNN of being in some vast conspiracy with third-party groups to tank the campaign, the surefire winning campaign, uh, and help his opponent, Stein, win the election. It's, it's fantastic. And then uh, I'll talk about why I don't think the, the lawsuit is going to continue, that they're going to drop it as soon as the election is over. And then we'll look at some polls to show you just how certain it is that this dipshit loses. So you're saying that a, a national, a global news organization is conspiring with a third party outfit to throw an election, which was already looking like this person was not going to win? I'm saying that a left wing media outlet is going to do everything they can to stop this man from being governor because they know that this man has an ability to connect with voters in a way that quite frankly scares them. And they don't want him uh, to be involved in, in politics at any level. And so that's, uh, I think that's what we've seen here. That's brilliant. That's a great question. So let me get this straight, Mark Robinson lawyer. You're saying that a national news, a national and global news organization is conspiring with a third party outfit to throw an election which was already looking like this person was not gonna win. <laughs> and then the lawyer being a shifty, greasy lawyer, it will, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> just insane. So one, let me just uh, give you a little detail about why I don't think that the lawsuit's gonna go forward is because of discovery. It's because Mark Robinson knows that as soon as this lawsuit goes to the discovery phase, CNN's gonna be able to access his, his uh, user history, his texts, his emails for all things related to this. And he doesn't want that because he's, he's been caught dead to rights. That's why. This is just a way to appear righteous and in command of, of, of the truth and to show voters the look at me, why would I sue if all this were true? It's just for the election. And the other reason that I think this is very funny is that uh, Mark Robinson, if you look at this polling data, Mark Robinson is, has been in bad shape in this election the entire time. This is what's so tasty about the Republican Party in many ways is that the electorate has no understanding of what it takes to win an election. They are so ideologically just driven toward radicalism that they put through the primaries the most radical characters who have no shot of winning in a general election. Mark Robinson being one of these characters. Look at these numbers. This is the most recent polling. He's... Stein is up 16 points, 12 points, 16 points, 17 points, 52 to 36%. And this is the way it's been for a long time. 
look at these numbers. This goes back all the way to, to May. I mean, my reading glasses here. You've got some outlier polls here that, that put Robinson up, but largely starting in like the, the, the middle of part of July, it's been Stein from one to six, plus six, plus 10, plus 14, plus four, I mean, all the way up. Robinson doesn't have a shot at this campaign. This didn't help, certainly, the, this news of his predilections and talking about what turns him on on porn sites with the same username he uses other places. I, I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Not smart enough to be governor of California, certainly, if you don't safeguard your online image or whatever, if you want to be a public figure. I, I, it's just very strange to me. So that's my prediction. This isn't going to go anywhere. Uh, the lawsuit, it's going to stop. But also, Mark Robinson's going to lose in grand fashion, even more grand fashion than he was going to lose. And uh, I'm here for it. I think you are too. If you're, in if you're in North Carolina, almost said California for some reason, if you're in North Carolina, I want to know what you think about this race. What is happening on the ground in your particular municipality? What are your friends saying? What are your MAGA relatives, if you have them, what are they saying? Uh, you can comment below. I welcome those comments. They help trick the algorithm. Trick is not the right word, but uh, influence the algorithm to share this content with new people, and that would be great. You can also call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. And of course, as always, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Please, again, subscribe very close to 800,000. It very well could happen today. And I would appreciate your help with that because I can only do it. I've only gotten this far because of you and I will only go any farther because of the audience. I appreciate you very much. If you wanna support the work more than just subscribing, which is free, click the join button below for $2 a month. You can help me produce these videos or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast and help me do this work. Follow me on social media if that's your thing. I am at Dollamore. And I will see you next time. Until then, be genuine. Take care of one another.